How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. So as you saw from the little montage at the start, I have been fishing up a storm in preparation for the Pumpkin Moon battle that we will do this episode and possibly Frost Moon as well. So I've caught lots of stuff. <laughs> I went through pretty much all my spare bait that I had and I've just been fishing up everything. So we got uh, Eben Koi from the Corruption for uh, Wrath Potions. Uh, we got Armor Kfish for Endurance Potions. And we got Prismite for Life Force Potions. They're the three main ones we needed. I also got some Variegated Lardfish from the Jungle uh, for extra summoning potions. And we got lots of crates. So what we're going to do is actually do a lot of potion crafting and all that good stuff. So the first thing we'll do is drop off our key potion fishies. I uh, don't need unicorn horn and let's get rid of the extra blink root. Okay, and another fish that needs to go there. Yep. So I'm just putting my key fish in the chest here. Uh, princess fish are only used for love potions, I'm pretty sure. And I'll just need to double check on the chaos fish. I always forget what that one does. So let's have a quick... What do you make? Ah, oh, teleportation. That's right. That's right, it's nothing too special. So let's sell our Neon Tetras. Specular fish are used to make uh, recall potions, so I don't need them. I'll double check, I was, I'm pretty sure it's love potions. Yep. Ah! <laughs> I need to unequip. I need to get... Okay, bass. I think I'm good for bass, but... I mean, it's always good to have extra um, well-fed buffs ready to go. And it's pretty much the only thing they're used for, so... Let's make lots of cooked fish, because why not? There we go. So what we need to do... Is open up all our special... Just having a quick look, make sure there's nothing extra in here. Oh, I saved a quest fish too. Okay, so like always, I'm just gonna spam open my chest. Here's my crate uh, extra goodies. So let's, as usual, start with the woodens and make our way up to the gold. The cool thing about crates is sometimes you get extra um, potions that can be useful as well. So yeah, it's really cool to yeah open them up and see what goodies you can get. So just keeping... Ah, uh, see there, heart reach. Beautiful. Definitely taking those. Um, and pretty much I'll, I'll put anything useful in the box and then I'll sell off the other junky sort of items. Uh, baits are always useful. And then this stuff, not so much. I never use Hunter Potions, Shine Potions, no. Can live without that. I found in Terraria, I'm trying to stop porting items I, like, never use. Like, you know, it's so easy to hang on to them, and then you're like, oh, I might use it, and then you never do. It's really annoying. Alright, Irons. Okay, what'd we get? Uh-oh. Don't... There we go. Okay, we've got another Enchanted Sundial, that's pretty cool. Uh, so don't need those. Yep, yep, no, no. Yes, yes. Legendary Falcon Blade. That's actually, look, if I had fished that up earlier, I would have been pretty uh, impressed with that. <laughs> oh, goodness, I don't know. But it's all just extra useful cash for us at the moment. Alright, now our last few, our Corrupt Crate. Boom! Ah, three master pause bait. That's awesome. And some cool hello stuff. Yep. And now our gold ones. Three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we've got the hardy saddle. We've got two hardy saddles. That's kind of it's kind of trippy. Alright, let's put our bars in there. Spelunkers are nice. Irons are cool. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't really compare with our fish run mount, does it? <laughs> Not at all. And I'm pretty sure I've got a potion chest somewhere for these high level potions. And oh my gosh, eight heart reach. Yes, I love heart reach potions. And because we're on a corruption world, we can't get them naturally. We can't make them. So that makes them all the more special. Uh, I'm just going to sell the hardy saddles. I don't need them. And we're good. Don't need mana. Okay, here we are, standing out at night time, ready for pumpkin moons. And I've actually decided I want to go Summoner for the start of it and then swap to Beetle Armor uh, halfway through to deal with the Pumpkins. 
So the reason for that is we're fairly safe early on. Um, for accessories, got Destroy Emblem, Worm Scarf, Starveil, City and Shield, which is almost necessary unless you live in a mount. Uh, but you can still get knockback in a mount, which is interesting. Uh, Charm of Myths, and yes, I'm sticking with wings. I'm a bit old-fashioned. I love my wings. They're just awesome. Okay. Uh, what items are we after? Well, I'd actually really like to get uh, possibly the Necromantic Scroll. And then we could make the Papyrus Scarab. Um, just because then we can focus on... And I've prepared the banner holding place in advance. Um, because if we get one of the power-up summoning scrolls, we can um, just have an extra summon out all the time. Which will help as we're approaching the end game here. So yeah, so so far so good. It's not even nine. It's just hit nine o'clock, and we're just about to hit wave seven. Okay, so swapping to beetle armor, and wish us luck because we might we might need it. <laughs> I was actually thinking of getting a buff for the flail um, because it's a melee weapon. We could actually use flasks, although. We're not, unfortunately, we're not on a Crimson world, and obviously Crimson gets the Icor um, item, which is just amazing. You know, the Icor flask is great. Minus 20 defense? Hard to argue with that. I'm actually surprised, guys. I thought we were going to take a beating and a half from these pumpkins. Um, but we're actually... <laughs> we got the pumpkin trophy already. That is insane. That is insane. I can't believe it. And we got a Bat Scepter, that's kind of cool too. And yes, I am going to be crazy and hang uh, banners during this. Um, why did I only heal 50? Oh, I got hit at the same time. <laughs> oh, Happy, what are you doing? Okay, we're getting lots of cool items straight away, this is nice. Um, gonna stick with the flare on. I'll try not to get too silly during this. But so far, so good. As I was saying, yeah, I'm surprised. I thought we were going to get so, so wrecked by the Pumpkins. Another Pumpkin Trophy! This is an expert thing, isn't it? You get more trophies in expert mode. Is that what this is? Maybe I should go and do a quick loot run. Wee -wee 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 -wee. A spooky hook. Yay! Oh my gosh, we're full already. <laughs> I'll get rid of this Scarecrow stuff. It's not particularly exciting. Alright. I can't just tank anymore. Uh oh. How long off a heal? 20 seconds! No! No, 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 no! Alright, heart run. Heart run, please have hearts. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all these pumpkins! I don't approve! <laughs> I don't approve. Unfortunately, because we don't have piercing weapons yet either, that's gonna be a bit sad. Uh, yeah. Alright, we'll get some honey. So, oh, I don't know. What's what's the plan here, guys? Like, I don't need to, to you know, try and survive this. Oh, well, I may not have a choice on that one. <laughs> Ooh, I don't need to survive this. Yeah, Pumpkin's like, yeah, you can die now. Smart. Smart guy. You think you're so tough? You can die. Uh, no. I should have put an extra chest just to dump loot in. Uh, no, 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 pumpkins! I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make a loot chest. Why didn't I plan this in advance? Why didn't I plan it in advance? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh goodness. So the reason I'm being so hesitant all of a sudden is I want to get the the necromantic scrolls as I talked about. Um, so maybe I should just. Yeah, man up and just try and survive. <laughs> or just keep dying and see what I can do. Okay. Uh, hearts? Hearts for happy? Oh, come on, where's hearts for happy? Oh, we're missing all the normal mobs, that's why. Oh, there's the necromantic scroll. Yes. Okay, I need to, I need to get it somehow. But I have full inventory. Alright, you ready? This is go time. And, and, deposit all. Yes, and loot. Yes, I got it. 
And I'm probably gonna die again, but that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I, was doing, I can't believe how quickly we got to wave 15. That was just... Oh, so good. Okay, the death and destruction is over. And we have survived. And we got a new pet. We got a spider. So let's summon our new baby friend. And loot. So we got some cool stuff. And I'll have to tweak my inventory so I don't get full again during the uh, the invasion. But um, yeah, we got a lot of trophies. That's kind of cool. So let's let's hang these up straight away. So we got our morning wood, and we got our pumpkin. Awesome. And I don't know what to do with the rest of them. <laughs> we got lots of gravestones because happy died lots. And I'll get rid of them. And we got our necromantic scroll, which I'm pretty happy with. And possibly might substitute the wings for. So if I get a, a Hercules beetle, I can make Papyrus Scarab. Just which, you know, really helps with uh, summons. So, do we need to fight the Pumpkin Moon again? I don't think so, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't want to waste any more uh, of our powered up potions. So... I guess what we could do is make the warmth potion and tackle the frost moon straight away. What do you reckon? Yeah? Sound good? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's get ready for the frost moon. I can't believe how quickly I'm jumping from one to the other. And we need to make... No, not Molotov cocktails. Cocktails. I need to make naughty presents. And we can just make one, I think. Uh, I've got enough silk for one. And I just need some souls of might. Might? Or is it fries? No, I think it was fries. So, yeah, but I'm going to need to find some more... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, cobwebs to make the rest of them. There we go. So, one is all we need at the end of the day, which is kind of cool. So, oh no, I've got tons of cobwebs. What are you talking about, Happy? You crazy chicken. Um, and a loom. Do we have a loom in the house? I'm staring right at one, aren't I? No. Do I not have loom? Goodness. What what base is complete without loomage? Unicorn! Um, okay, well I need to make a loom. So anyway, the only other thing we need to make for the frost moon is a warmth potion. And I don't know if they block the chilled effect from the Ice Queen... Um, but they definitely reduce the damage that we're going to take. Okay, so the only thing we need to do is wait the rest of the day. And uh, let's fight some Frost Moon. Can't wait. And here we are as night is descending. Ready for round two of our Invasion Smackdown. And this time it's going to be with the Frost Moon. So let's get our Summoner's Gear back on. Few changes. I've got the... I re-rolled the Necromantic Scroll. Um, you can't buy the Hercules Beetle until night time, so I'm not going to worry about Pyra Scarab for this. Uh, we've made a few warmth potions. Alright, so buffs on. Yep, beautiful. Let's summon some nice, powerful Sharknadoes of goodness. Yes, I realised there was a loom right next to me, so... Oh my gosh. I'm so silly sometimes. <laughs> and I've made some... Just while that's getting started, I made a chest for pumpkin loot. And now I've got a Frost Moon uh, chest as well. So that's, oh my gosh, wave five already. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. Um, I guess main things we want from this invasion is uh, the trophies, first and foremost. And I'm thinking of items. What would be good? Um, the Ice Queen drops a few. The Blizzard stuff might be nice. Um, but yeah, look, I'm probably forgetting a lot of them. The Elf Melter, I wouldn't wouldn't mind giving that a shot. Ouch, something just hit me so hard. Oh, goodness, I might... Oh, ow, ow. Okay, these guys hit... These guys play hard. <laughs> oh, goodness. Have I got the Shiny Stone of Kuto? Okay, try not moving. Okay, you still get the regen even if you're attacking. So I've just got to be brave and stand still by the looks of it. Oh... I don't know. I don't know if that's working, guys. <laughs> plan B, plan B. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> don't die. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah. 
No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's get out. Oh, goodness. How far am I off a potion? Okay, well, it was probably the right idea to try this before. Before. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Four seconds, I think. Oh, goodness. The pain, the pain. Okay, we're back in Buff Town. Alright. Goodness, that, that almost ended a lot sooner than I thought it might. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Alright, hearts for happy? Beautiful. Oh, goodness. Alright. Okay, wave 11 is interesting on, um, on the ice, uh, on the frost moon because, um, because, oh, I'm chilled. Uh, pretty much the main way you can get points is to, you need to kill the Ice Queen. It's pretty much the only way you can get past, uh, Wave 11. Because the only other things that spawn are like Flockos and Snowmen, and they only give 1 and 5 points each. Um, and Snow, Snow, Ice Queens give 150 points, so yeah. Alright, let's go on a Heart Run. Beautiful. Ooh, Everscream Trophy! Yes! I love how easily the trophies drop in, uh, Expert Mode, it's wicked. Okay, let's try and uh, do some damage to this Ice Queen. Oh my gosh! I can't believe the start we had. That was that was terrible. <laughs> like I, I can honestly say that was that was horrendous. <laughs> All right. Oh yes, Snowman Cannon. Ah, oh, that's so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, is that a Santa? Santa, can you drop your trophy, please? <gasps> it's wave 15, maybe he will. Oh my gosh, of course. All right, I'm gonna focus on Santa. He might be like a guaranteed trophy. Was he? Yes! yes! <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah, stay, stay still, Ice Queen. You can do it. <laughs> oh no, come on, you're having a good time doing your spinny move. I liked it, I thought it was great. Oh. Well guys, we've got all the trophies, we've got the snowman cannon. I'm pretty happy, I, this is the best, um, the best run I've had in quite a while through the uh, moon events. I think expert mode helps, so obviously the item drop rates are very much increased. But that's okay, we're not complaining. Alright, just gotta get this extra Santa. Keep those lovely flare on bubbles going down there. Come on, Santa. You can do it. That's it. What else do we get? Chain oh, yeah, we got a chain gun. Cool. Pew pew. Alright. Oh, no one hung around to. So I could try out the new chain gun. How disappointing. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, let's take stock here. Oh, well, I can't believe we survived, first and foremost, but um, not complaining either. So let's get our trophies on. This is fun, fun, fun in the sun. So we've got our Everscream, our Santa, and our Ice Queen. Beautiful. And we've got lots of, lots of cool weapons. So we've got chain guns. Ooh, festive wings. And thanks as always for watching another episode of our Expert Mode Let's Play. So it feels really good to be back guys, I understand there wasn't a video yesterday, and uh, today, yesterday, I'm not sure where the time difference is in the world where you are. Um, so yes, I understand there wasn't a video, you know, sometimes I just get uh, crazy busy all of a sudden and uh, yeah, it was one of those times, so I, I do apologise, I understand, you know, when you're used to daily videos and then there isn't one, you're like, hey, what's going on here? Um, but we're back in, ba we're back in business, we're back in business now, we're back in business. 
Um, so yeah, so it's all under control. Um, which is actually brings me to a few things. I'm about to release a community video. Uh, it'll be up within the next day or so. And it's going to be talking about some uh, big updates to our channel. Uh, something that a few of you will like, and it's something I've been asked about for a while now. And some people have asked me to do two videos a day. Two videos a day! Oh my gosh, that's like, wow. Um, so I've actually been thinking of a way that it would be possible. Um, I think a lot of you know I put a lot of editing into my videos. So stay tuned for that video and all will be revealed. And as always, I'll have a big chat to everyone about it because I don't just make decisions for you. I like to have a chat to you about stuff because you're part of the channel. Okay, uh, time for our shout outs as always. And my iPad is trying to run away from me. Ah, come back! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it was like slowly rolling off the side of the couch and I could see it out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, no, don't do it iPad, you've got so much to live for. <laughs> it's like, ah, okay. <laughs> and great, I'm laughing before shoutouts, this is going to go great. Okay, alright, alright, serious face. <laughs> Our first one's from Snappy One Sec Gaming and they've asked me to say in a Leonidas voice, um, which that wasn't really his voice. Um, from the movie 300, and he's asked me to say, this is Terraria in Leonidas, so... <gasps> gotta channel my Leonidas here. This is Terraria! <coughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know how he does it in the movie. He has such a deep, deep voice, and he's screaming at the same time. Like, it's so cool. Alright. Thanks for that, Snappy. Our next one for, is from Xavier Bob. He's asked me to say in a hero's voice. A hero is like a, I'll save you. Okay, he's asked me to say for cookies in a hero's voice, so... <gasps> I'll save you for cookies. I had to add that bit on to get into character. You know how it goes. All right, our next one is from Suspicious Windmills. And they've asked me to say in Alana's voice. And some of you might be thinking, Alana? Who's Alana? And if you don't know, I actually named our expert character, but I never really said it. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a story series or not, and it's ended up just being a straight gameplay. But anyway, our expert character is called Alana, so... Anyway, he's asked me to say in Alana's voice... Okay, girl voices, I'm not... Well, I, I can't speak like a lady. Um... Why? Why? Why does no one know what my name is? <laughs> okay, I tried. <laughs> uh, next one is from XX Josiah twenty three XX. He's asked me to say, if there's an exploding apple, there's an exploding cookie too. <laughs> oh my gosh! I think that's was I talking about exploding apples a few videos ago. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think exploding anything is funny, <laughs> but, um, you know, in a safe sense, of course. Like, when you put diet, nah, Mentos in Diet Coke and, like, the Coke explodes everywhere, that's kind of funny. Alright, unless you do it in your lounge room and then there's Coke everywhere. Okay, our next one is from Tizza, and they've asked me to say, in a voice like when you're dying, they've asked me to, <coughs> oh no, okay, voice, you can do it. They've asked me to say, <coughs> the cookies, <coughs> I'm taking over! Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like the Simpsons episode where the dolphins start to take over the town. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and our last one today, we're doing six shout outs, is from Eleven Studios Raph the Eagle. Okay, cool name. And they've asked me to say in a Gandalf voice, they've asked me to say, You shall not pass! They are my cookies. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thanks for that. Hey, guys. Great to be back. Sorry again for missing a day. Look, I, I understand. I, I feel bad when I, I do have to miss a day. And hopefully one day, if I am a full-time YouTuber, I can be on the time, all the time, all the time. Um, so leave a like if you enjoyed this video or you're just happy to see me back in action. Um, comments are important. Let me know. What do you want to see? We've done Pumpkin Moon. We've done Frost Moon. Everything's pretty much ready to go now, guys. So it's important that you let me know what would you like to see before we throw down with the cultists and start the endgame. So, you know, the next episode could be the last one. I'm not sure. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see before we wrap up the series. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. 
you won't be disappointed and join our now oh my gosh 60,000 subscribers this is crazy <laughs> we're on the way to 100k guys and it even rhymes <laughs> so thanks for watching as always and uh you guys stay happy and i'll see you next time this is happy day signing out see ya oh and for everyone who's asking me this is the loki's developer set um a few people were asking me about it uh not that loki's and I put Loki's dye with it too, so it's pretty cool. It gives it like that little glowing effect. <laughs> Sorry, this is Happy Day signing out. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just... Oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!